fear. It comes in a lot of different shapes and sizes. I grew up surfing when I was a kid, but as I got older, I became uncomfortable walking out into the surf, paddling out through the waves. And so when a friend of mine asked me to go surf fishing with him, I was a little nervous. It's a good thing my friend Garrett introduced me and Andrew to his friend Jake to show us all about surf fishing. Oh, hey. Setting up here. What are we about to do today? We're about to go fish in the, in the ocean. I don't even know what we're catching. Perch. Surf perch? Surf perch. Hey! I'm Jake. Andrew. Oh, yeah. This is Andrew. Nice to meet you. So you can probably tell that Andrew and myself don't really know that much about surf fishing. But Jake was there to help us get started. And take the tail and tuck it back towards your the fingernail. It's used to tie two lines together. Seems like every single time I go out to fish for something new, there's another knot to learn. There's another rod or reel, a new way to cast, and as usual, more mistakes to be made. The first time doing this is so you can make some mistakes. That way the second time, you can make more mistakes. <laughs> I heard that, I was like, there's that twang. Yep, I broke my line, snapped it right off and lost my lure. So Jake helped me set up my line again and found a few new spots where he and I could continue to cast out. It was a really good opportunity to just learn how to cast, to get a little bit more comfortable walking out into the ocean. Like I said, I've been a little afraid of venturing out. You know, I'm okay out on a boat, but there's something about walking into the surf, I just get a little uneasy. So this was a good opportunity for me to face my fears. We took a little break after not catching anything in the morning. And since Andrew was flying his drone around all day, he decided to get in the water and catch some fish. And as you can see, he was successful. Pretty much right away. It wasn't a surf perch like we thought we were gonna catch, but it was a jack smelt. Apparently, jack smelt are used as bait fish. But we decided to keep it so we could cook it up the next day. It was really fun to just kick back and watch the sunset. Some surfers came out and we just kept on casting. They were catching waves and Andrew was catching fish. Some people call this place the home of the coastal cowboy, the central coast of California. You see surfers, ranchers, all doing their thing in that same stretch of land from the ocean to the country. I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, but for the last 10 years, this has been my home. And I think it's changed me and changed my relationship with fear through hunting, fishing, and making new friends who invite me out into the wild to face my fears and stoke my curiosity. So that was it. Just this one fish, a jack smelt, caught by Andrew. As promised, here's a few clips of Andrew cooking up that jack smelt he caught the day before. Even though I've been getting into fishing and hunting over the past couple years, I'm still learning a lot about how to prepare the food I catch. Like the yellowtail I caught in Baja, to make sashimi as an appetizer before our main course. So, this little guy doesn't have too much meat on him, so we're just gonna see how it turns out, but we're gonna smoke him up. We put a little bit of seasoning on him, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of uh, salt and pepper, um, some urine, which is like a rice wine, and then we're gonna see how he turns out. It's gonna be good. It's been really cool to see Andrew do his thing in the kitchen. We worked together a few years back and he was a creative director, I was an art director, and we collaborated a lot on projects. So it's really neat to see him bring that creativity to the table. I mean, just look at these dishes he was preparing. They're works of art. Not only did they look good, but they were absolutely delicious. You know, I could have sat on the couch the other day, not gone fishing, but I pushed past my fear brought Andrew along, he caught a fish, and we proved that a bait fish 
could actually be a feast. <laughs>